All right, guys, I'm here at uh, Spark Cycle Works in uh, Brantford, Connecticut with the Sonata Sabre 1000 watt e-bike. And we're gonna do an upgrade on this thing. So uh, I want a faster e-bike. We're gonna put a higher amp controller on it. We're gonna put a 20 amp hour battery on the rack. And they're gonna do it all for me. So uh, I'll kind of try and film um, uh, uh, the result of that. I might come back in a couple weeks to get the bike. But uh, yeah, we're gonna turn this into a street cruiser. And uh, give me a nice, fast uh, 30 mile an hour e-bike. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Miles an hour. Thirty one. So my Sonata is now complete with the uh, dual battery pack. Full throttle now. It's going slightly downhill here, so. Thirty. Thirty one. a little more wobblier now with the back uh, rack battery it's much heavier so a little bit less stable but it's uh, got to hold on it's all all right so I got the uh, Sonata back from Spark Cycle Works we have a new rear rack battery back here it's the uh, GoCo I think it's called um, it's a 20 amp hour 48 volt battery you can see there, uh, 48 volt, 20 amp hour. Just finished charging it all. Um, it's a pretty heavy uh, battery. And uh, the bike, you know, it's got a 30 amp hour controller in there. So originally I thought I was replacing that with an upgraded one they sent me, but it turns out the upgraded one that they sent me was only a 28 amp hour. So. This happens to be a 30 amp hour battery. Uh, initially, when I did the review of the bike, I could not get to past 26 miles an hour, but um, uh, for whatever reason, maybe Spark uh, made a few adjustments in there. I'm now doing 30 miles an hour uh, with pedaling. So, a uh, very interesting uh, bike. It's my, uh, call my super cruiser. You know, when I want to go on a fast ride, this is the bike I'm gonna take now. Uh, this is basically just a street bike. I'm not taking it off trails. Uh, it doesn't belong there. And it's going to be my new, uh, you know, super cruiser. Take it out on a leisurely, you know, Sunday drive. And uh, just have fun with it. Because that's basically what this bike is all about. So, uh, just want to give a shout out to Spark. Um, you know, for, cost me $700 to get this upgrade put on. Um, and they, they will do that for other e-bikes as well. So, if you're thinking about getting a dual battery rack like this, then uh, give them a call and uh, let them know what you have, and I'm sure they can do it for you. So, they do work on e-bikes of all kinds, and uh, 
those guys know what they're doing up there so uh, that's the new thing also this comes with a 2.5 amp hour charger which is a little bit better than the two amps of course and that's good because it's 20 amp hour battery it takes forever to charge so uh, it's probably gonna take like five hours even with the 2.5 but uh, that combined with the 15 amp hour uh, down to battery here it gives me now 35 amp hours of of battery and uh, I should be able to get uh, at least 50 miles of range in the higher PS settings probably more I'll have to do a range test but uh, yeah I'm pretty psyched to have this uh, you know more powerful uh, longer range e-bike now uh, thanks to uh, Spark Cycle Works so there you go I did upgrade the stem on it as well Brought the handlebars back put the mirror on of course Threw a rack bag down here in the middle but uh, that's about it not gonna add much more to it did add some cool little orange uh, Schrader caps just to accent the orange on the bike but uh, there we go so uh, anyway quick update on the Sonata Sabre uh, 1699 on the Sonata bikes website and again it's gonna cost you several dollars more um, if you do get something like that, I think the actual battery costs about three, three fifty. Uh, I added a uh, Spark used a dual battery blender, which is now inside of the control box. There, you can't see it. Uh, that uh, battery blender costs about one fifty, I believe, from the Spark uh, website. And uh, so you're looking at at least you know almost five hundred bucks worth of parts uh, to do an upgrade like this, plus the labor. So. Uh, that's what you're looking at uh, with uh, something like this if you were to DIY yourself. I'm not a uh, battery expert, so I looked at the professionals, and um, uh, here's the uh, the wire going in from the new battery into the controller. The battery blender is in here, and it connects to the existing controller, which already connects to the existing battery. So that's how it uh, that's how it all flows basically. So. Got any questions or comments, drop a note, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Crisscross video.